Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I'm a Taurus Sun and Venus. Before we get into the reading, quick announcement. It is September, so I am giving half off my most popular reading, which is What Does Spirit Want Me to Know? So there will be a little uh, icon of a lotus flower here. When you click on that at the very end of the video, it takes you right to my booking site. And just so that as a reminder, you will not see the half off until after you book, and then I send you an invoice that reflects that half off. It is a recorded reading like YouTube. However, it is a private link that only you and I can see. So book that reading before the end of September. So let's get in on it today. So Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for the day? What is the overall energy? Show me clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Show me clearly. What is the overall? Show us clearly. Ooh, that was loud. Show us. Ooh. Wow, deep knowing. Ooh, I like this. I like this deep knowing here. So you have new wisdom coming in. You have uh, the ability to know that things are going to work out for you. I just know. Sometimes we just know. Um, there is something about this owl here that is bringing in the wisdom that you need, okay? For whatever situation, it's gonna be different for all of you. This is just knowing the answer, knowing the solution, um, and getting it from a higher source. And the reason I say that is because it is the 43, right? And 43 is a seven in numerology, which is very spiritual. It's very much in connection in connection with the higher uh, universal knowledge. So if you really kind of look at that too, the, owl, the owl's eyes are closed and same with the face, right? Their eyes are closed. So again, this is getting answers in your dreams, getting answers through meditation, getting answers through walking in nature. So there is something that's coming through for you um, wow, that was strange. Okay. The cobwebs are being removed out of your brain. I'm telling you the cobwebs are being removed because that was the strangest thing. I have literally turned, looked up and there was a cobweb, um, from the ceiling to my camera stand and I just swept it away. So there it is. There's your sign. Your intuition is going to definitely be on point right now, uh, along with listening to your higher self, right? You're tapping into source in a way that you may not have ever been able to tap into before, which is so wonderful. This is like really... It's so important because we are so, we're very much taught to ignore our intuition or our deep knowing, right? We are literally taught to ignore it when it's our natural capacity to navigate through journeys to grab this solution, to grab this guidance. So I do feel like this is the open door for you, right? Uh, to escape any limitations that you might have felt that you've had. I love it. I mean, it's very, um, very in tune. Trust your vibes, right? And ask, and you will get the answers that you, you need also. If you've been here long enough, you know this, but we have newcomers all the time. Welcome new, new subscribers, new Taurus, um, where I ask every day. Every day I ask my spiritual team, show me the way. Show me the way. And sometimes it's very simple like that. And they do, and I lead my day through that. Sometimes it can be very specific. So, for example, if you are looking for romantic love, it's it, that's simple to ask your spiritual team, show me the way to romantic love, right? And you know it's, you know the answers, right? You know the answers. They're coming from the higher realms. I'm telling you. 
And remember, you're part of the higher realm, your higher self. So let's see what we have in the tarot. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. Show me clearly, please. What is the message here? What is the message? What is the message? Show me clearly. Show me clearly. What is the message? Ooh. Oh my gosh, you cannot make it up. But seriously, the High Priestess, the most intuitive card of them all. Yeah. So again, eyes are closed here. Third eye is open, receiving the wisdom, the knowledge, receiving the answers, getting the breakthrough that you need. So I would highly, highly recommend that you do whatever form of uh, meditation that is for you. It might come in dreams, right? But it can come in your meditation. And not all meditation is sitting in, you know, lotus position for 30 minutes. You know, it can be. I do that. But there's all sorts of ways to meditate. Um, some of you have heard this before, but one of my dear friends called me up and said, I can't, this was years ago, said, I can't meditate. I can't meditate. I try, but I can't. And I started laughing at her and I said, you meditate every day. And she was shocked. And she's like, what do you mean? And I said, she's a marathon runner. She's an ultra marathon runner. And I said, every day you run, whether it's a mile, whether it's 20 miles, whatever it is, you run every day. And she said, yeah. And I said, and that's when you meditate. And that is when you find answers. Think about anything you needed an answer to. You needed a way forward. When did you get it? And she goes, when I was running. So it comes in many, many forms. Okay. So just know you are tapping in to the higher knowledge right now. And I would tell you that if you feel like you're not, I would book a pineal session with me, a Reiki session for your pineal gland, awakening your pineal gland, because that is our connection to source. And the pineal gland is a real physical part of our brain. So you can always do that too. And if you've had that done, let people know. I mean, it can be life changing. Look at this with the hangman, this new perspective, this enlightenment. This is a very spiritual time for you where you realize not all answers are going to be in the books or from other people. Right? It's not. This is where you're relying on spirit here to give you that enlightenment. I love this. Two major accounts. Deep, deep information is coming. Downloads are coming. Six of Swords, of course they are. Lots of downloads are coming in for you now at this time, being given the light codes in order to steer yourself in a much better direction. Because I will say this, as much as the Six of Swords is spirit guiding you, and it is represented here, right? This is spirit pulling the boat. However, you're in the boat alone, which is not a bad thing. This is what I'm saying is that you are you're connecting with that higher self. You're moving on. You're getting downloads. You're getting answers. I love it. Show me clearly. Okay. Five of Swords. Did come out in reverse. I'm reading it the same way. But what it is saying to me is that you're getting out of your way. You're kind of getting out of the human nature. Right? And really letting the higher self come in. Because this is like monkey mind energy, right? Noise. And you're removing the noise in order to, quote unquote, hear. To hear your higher self, to grab that knowledge. You're putting ego aside and letting spirituality come in for this. It's a balance of both. But some days we do the more physical, some days we do the more spiritual, right? But we try to keep it in balance as much as possible. And I feel like the noise in your mind is being pushed aside here. Absolutely. Show me clearly. Thank you. Yeah. So, again, I'm reading it the same way regardless of how it came out. You're putting the burdens down. Okay, the Ten of Wands is the burden, and sometimes the burden isn't as physical. Wands are the most spiritual suit, right? So the 
the burdens that you're laying down are, is the monkey mind and the lack of knowledge. Once we calm the mind, true answers can come in, right? But again, that comes in different ways. You can do that in different ways. Do you enjoy taking a walk in the woods? Do you enjoy grounding yourself? Do you enjoy swimming, right? I love to swim, you know, that clears my mind. What is it? And even as little as, and I say this all the time, I probably haven't said it in a while, I still do my dishes by hand. And it probably takes me all of five minutes to do dishes, right? However, with the warm water going over my hand and doing the dishes, that's muscle memory, right? So I am not thinking about doing that. Like if you go for a long drive, you're not thinking about the drive, right? You're almost on autopilot. But when I'm doing dishes like that, I get so much clarity, even in that just five minutes. Because that's a meditative state for me. I love that. Show me clearly. What is the message, please, for Taurus? Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. Yeah, look at, see, again, clearing this energy in a big way. With this Three of Swords, you're really, really breaking through something here. Because, you know, I've done this. She's out in the middle of nowhere screaming. Sometimes we need that outlet, right? Uh, a lot of scenes in movies where you see people do that too, right? They stop at the side of the road and they just scream it out. And I feel like, but I still feel, remember it's swords energy, so it's still mind. And I feel like you're really clearing that mind. You're really, look at this, with the five of wands, yes. I love this five of wands um, because it's like the more you practice, it's a card to practice. The more you practice these meditations in whatever form they are, it clears you. It's like, um, think about, think about it this way. One of the best ways to get through anger is physical. And I'm not talking about violence, but if you're really angry about something and you like go to the gym or go for a run, right? If you're frustrated and angry, it releases it. That's why people who work out, like my girlfriend's kind of funny brought that back, you know, because she's a runner. They have like the highest serotonin. They are very happy people because they're releasing the ugh, energy. And I feel like that's what this is. It's still very spiritual. Do not get me wrong. But the answers are going to come through meditation or doing something physical and continuing to practice that because i often say like with meditation it, it's great and i love it but if you're not doing it daily and probably more than once daily right more than one time daily then it's not really going to help you and you can use different forms like i said some days i swim some days i go for a hike i do dishes all the time so that's a form of meditation sometimes i sit in lotus position and do meditations but it, by doing this practice, you get independently wealthy, independently in control of your life because you know everything is going to work out. Because you know everything is going to work out here. This is awesome, actually. Because we can talk about it all day long, but if we're not doing that those practices, those meditation practices to get the answers, then we're, we're going to be stuck. We're going to be stuck. All right, what else do we have for Taurus? Show us clearly, what do we have for Taurus? But I promise you, you're... You may not get the answer directly, like wake up in the morning and be like, oh, aha, but you are getting downloads and you are gaining wisdom. That's why sleep is so important. We gain so much knowledge from the spiritual realm during our dream state. Let your heart do the thinking. The best solution will not be found between your ears in the maze of your mind through paralysis analysis. Your best guidance can be found in the moment in the loving sanctuary in the center of your heart. Let love lead you and find your way. This is exactly what I was talking about, right? I love that. In the maze of your mind, the monkey mind, we were talking about it, right? Sit in your heart space 
And that's where we are when we feel that good, when we go to the gym, when we run the marathon, when we do the dishes, when we sit in meditation, right? That is all through that heart space. So I love this. The answers are, are there. You just have to allow them to come in, Taurus. So, Taurus, don't forget to book your What Does Spirit Want Me to Know reading. Click that subscribe button if you haven't. Hit the like, share, and leave a comment. I read each and every one. And all my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.